Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about saying sorry if you have hurt someone and how to show you really mean it. Please go back and listen to episode 18 if you haven't already done so. I promise it will be worth your time. Today, I have a question for you and for me. Do you have an attitude of gratitude? Do you have an attitude of gratitude? In other words, are you thankful for what you have or where you are despite the challenges and the setbacks you may have had? Do you focus on what is going wrong more than what is going right? An attitude of gratitude means you take time every day to think about your blessings and what you can be thankful for. It doesn't mean you ignore what is going wrong or what needs to be addressed. It simply means you make a conscious effort to not let what is going wrong overshadow what is going right or to let it, you know, change your whole mood or disposition. Because research has shown being thankful has emotional and psychological benefits. I read that a study done at Harvard found that not only not only has daily gratitude practice been shown to help us, you know, make more positive choices like eating well or exercising, but it's also shown to make people more optimistic and improve relationships. So there you have it. There are some really good reasons to find something to be grateful for every day. Make it a disciplined habit or a lifestyle by setting aside time every day to reflect on, you know, at least one thing you can be grateful for or start a gratitude journal. Because what you focus on is where your life will take you. You will have a negative life if you think negatively and if you talk negatively. The opposite is also true. That is why it it is so important to have an attitude of gratitude despite what is happening in, to, or around you because it keeps your perspective positive so that the negative stuff doesn't overtake you and rob you of joy and of peace. There's a scripture that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Well, worry, uncontrolled you know, anxiety, negative thinking, and being ungrateful will steal your joy and your peace. It'll kill your ability to see or to experience anything good in your life. And it will destroy your mental, emotional, and perhaps your physical health. I read somewhere that you should think of three positive thoughts for every negative thought that comes to your mind. Train yourself to flip the script. Instead of dwelling on the unfavorable and the undesirable factors in your life, an attitude of gratitude expresses appreciation on a regular basis for big and small things. You know, we may be grateful for, you know, our relationships, our health, our business, our, you know, maybe material items, food in your cabinet, running water in your house, and your overall sense of well-being. The Bible says in everything, in everything, give thanks. I believe that scripture exists because there's always something to be thankful for. Some days now it may be harder than others to find that something, but if nothing else, you can be, you know, grateful for breath in your lungs because as long as you're alive, you have lived to see another day and that is another chance to change the trajectory of your life. You can always find something negative to focus on as well if you're looking for it. That's why you have to train yourself to see the positive. See the glass as half full rather than half empty. Perspective is everything. Shift your perspective and you will come to realize how blessed you really are. There's a poem that says, be thankful for the difficult times. During those times you grow. Be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your character and strength. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. I even read somewhere that you should be thankful for, you know, the difficult people in your life because they teach you who you don't want to be like. There's a quote, when you can't control what's happening, 
Challenge yourself to control the way you respond. That is where your power is. Another quote, next time you complain about the price of gas, stop and give thanks that you have a car. Next time you complain about a messy house, stop and be thankful that you have a family to make the mess. Next time you complain about your boss, stop and give thanks that you have a job. Live each day with an attitude of gratitude and you will be on your way to a happier life. Finally, I leave you with this quote. Choose to see the world through grateful eyes. It will never look the same again. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, Non-Commercial, No Derivatives, 4.0 International License. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.